Hello everyone. This is going to be a love reading for a single Gemini's um, for the um, next month or so to see who's coming towards them with love. So let's see, Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini's with love? Who's coming towards a single Gemini's with love within the next month? Please tell me about single Gemini's. Who's coming towards single Gemini's within the next month? This is someone who wants to come back from the dead. <laughs> I know this is a reading for new love. And I know you don't want to hear about your ex. But it's about your ex. <laughs> So this is someone who you ended things with and they want to come back. They want a new beginning with you. They still love you. They still think that things between the two of you can um, get better and, you know, you can make up and leave all the past behind and so on. But, um, yeah this is your ex this is not new energy there's no way new energy can come with the judgment and the, the death card because uh that the, the judgment is about a decision so what decision could someone new make towards you and death is about um something that has ended so no this is your ex i know you i don't want to hear about my ex well your ex certainly wants to make an appearance in your reading gemini so um okay Let's see, how does this person see Gemini? Please tell me, how does this person see Gemini? Yeah, they see you as someone who's holding back, who's, uh, as someone who is withdrawn, and they want to change that. <laughs> Um, for the time being, I don't think that you and this person are in contact. I don't think you're talking to each other. And that, no, I don't think you are friendly exes who, you know, stayed friends. No, I, I think there is no communication and no sort of contact between the two of you. And they want to change that. Okay. And they really think that they can change that. Um... It could be that you yourself has uh, have been uh, changeable towards them. You've gone through periods of not speaking and then speaking again, you know, being open and then not being open. It could be that you have given off some mixed signals uh, too in, uh, in uh, the past. Okay, so let's see. What are their intentions? What are this? Oh. What are this person's intentions towards Gemini? Please tell me, what are this person's intentions towards Gemini? Um... They want to make up with you, but slowly. Uh, they want to first mend the friendship. Okay, this is not someone who is going to come straight away and say, Hey, Gemini, let's be lovers again. No. First, they're going to, they're going to, this person is intelligent. <laughs> you know, they're going to start off, Hey, I, I don't want things to be bad between us no hard feelings and all of that we can be friends right um and that's what they're intending to do um and also remind you of the good times that you had together and um just, just say you know things that we can hang out as friends uh you you remember how we used to hang out and we had so much fun we can do that you know we, we can keep doing that as friends all right, so let's see. <laughs> um, what's the outcome here? What is going to happen between Gemini 
and this person uh, within the next month or so what's going to happen between Gemini and this person within the next month or so ah you're taking them back aren't you I knew it <laughs> and, and now you're watching this and you're like no way I'm not taking them back yeah you are <laughs> you're going to make up with this person for sure uh, and, and you know what that's I'm not judging it might be that things are even going to be better now than they used to be in the past hey you know maybe this person has learned their lesson about what it is that you know they did and they suffered um, because of this breakup so maybe now they're actually going to be a good person because here in the outcome You've got the temperance, which shows a card of reconciliation. You've got the star, which is a very beautiful card. It's a, it's a card of optimism, of hope, of luck, of good luck. So, you know, uh, and with the six of wands, a card of victory, a, a card of success, of good times. So you're really going to have some really um, good times with this person. Uh, and you're going to feel like, you're so blessed. I, I really feel like this person is going to come back as the best version of themselves. <laughs> I don't even think you've seen this person at this maximum capacity um, before. Um, I'm not really sure if the romantic connection is going to actually... Um, restore uh become restored within the next month because the only card of romance i have on the table is this one so this person clearly uh loves you but i don't see it in the, how they see you in their intentions and neither in the outcome i don't see love so i really feel that there's going to be a period of transition uh here uh, while you two you know mend your friendship and spend some time together but and I'm I'm talking about the next 30 days because that's the time frame I'm reading for. Um, but um, you're going to have some great times with this person and you're going to make up whatever it is that happened between the two of you in the past. You're going to resolve that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you know, hey, Gemini, if this person said that they, they're going to change for you, maybe give them another chance. Maybe they deserve it. I don't know. It's up to you. So uh, that was it. That was your reading. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you good luck with this person and uh, I'll see you in my next uh, videos. Bye for now.